Seth Blatter had already been living in a figurative maelstrom. Today he stepped into a physical one with stubborn defiance. But I will fight. I will fight for me and I will fight for FIFA. Suspended eight years for what? The 79-year-old held a long, at times rambling, news conference to say he was sorry, but not for anything he has done. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I am still somewhere, a punching ball, but I'm sorry that I am, as president of FIFA, this punching ball, and I'm sorry for, for football. FIFA's ethics committee found Blatter violated the rules when he made a $2 million U.S. payment in 2011 to Michel Platini, the head of the European soccer organization. Blatter denies any wrongdoing, saying that payment was for consulting services Platini provided to FIFA. Do you know which football officials took bribes from the... Investigative journalist Andrew Jennings has been credited with getting the ball rolling on probes into alleged widespread corruption at FIFA. He says Blatter's reaction to today's ban is classic. Classic going on. I notice he blames America. Oh, yes, he blames, he blames everybody. Funnily enough, he's blameless. FIFA has been racked by accusations of hundreds of millions of dollars in kickbacks and bribes involving lucrative contracts related to World Cup events. When it ignored a report by its own commission of independent international ethics specialists, Canadian anti-bribery expert Alexandra Raghi resigned in disgust. It was really clear that the critical problem with FIFA was the tone at the top that there was a sense of it being a personal fiefdom. But Sepp Blatter is defiant to the end. I'm still the president, even suspended, I am the president. The former head of England's football association says this isn't the last we'll see of Sepp Blatter. Will he go with dignity and so on? No, he definitely won't. He's hung on to the last second. He will appeal um, any way he can. Both Blatter and Blatini say they will appeal their bans at the Court of Arbitration in Sport. But police in the U.S. and Switzerland have launched criminal investigations into corruption allegations involving more than a dozen top FIFA officials, including Blatter. Ron Charles, CBC News, London.